we have to suffer during this quarantine. This is how we eat every single damn day. Well, it's another gorgeous day. And right now, what you see here, these are poblano chilies here, pepper, chili peppers. And uh, I'm making poppers with it. We had leftover uh, cream cheese and we had leftover bacon. And they're not going to go to waste because I don't like to waste. And uh, if you can see underneath this, uh, you can't see this, but I, I put in also not only just cream cheese, but I uh, put on top of that some uh, Canucket sausage here. I'll show you a picture of it later on. But in any case, I'm going to start the, this may take about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes or so. Who knows? Uh, we wanted it to be cooked. Of course, this is pork dish here. And I got some leftover charcoal here from yesterday, which are from the Jealous Devil, the lump. And just to get things going, I just put some B&B &B in the small chimney. I'm going to dump it in a few minutes here and then start the cooking here. So we're going to do the poblano peppers first. It could take a while. And then when they're about done, we're going to put some steaks on a couple of steaks. Ooh, the fire looks nice. Ooh, looking forward to trying this. Oh my goodness. Now these poppers have been in here now for about an hour. If you can see, notice it's bubbling right there. Wow. Wow. Oh yeah. I want to make sure that bacon is done, obviously. Uh, I'm going to give it a few more minutes, I think, and uh, it may take another half an hour or so. I was expecting an hour and a half or so, but it's only been an hour. So maybe I'll put it on the lower rack here right now. Maybe that's what I'll do. Hey, it's been about an hour and a half now, and this is uh, what these uh, poblano poppers look like. I'm trying to really crisp up the chicken. That cream cheese is just oozing out, and uh, in that cream cheese, you can see the little specks here. That's a Kanaka sausage, which I just laid on top. In fact, here's a Kanaka sausage right here. And uh, I'm just trying to crisp this thing up. I also decided to put the steaks on and uh, I'm cooking them indirect right now and I'm just trying to move this on. As you probably know, when I started this cook, it was beautiful and now the weather forecast is going to rain here. So you can't feel it, but it's windy here right now. Uh, so we're trying to move this along and, uh, but in any case, uh, this is a kind of an experiment in cooking poppers. Never cooked poppers before until just a couple weeks ago, they were jalapeno. These are poblano. We'll see how these are. Okay, these are the steaks here. I just put them on the fire. I just flipped them, rather, and uh, here are the uh, poppers here. I think these things should be done. I, I'm not really experienced in cooking poppers at all. In fact, this is the only second time I ever made poppers. Uh, in fact, it's probably the second time I ever had poppers, for that matter. Um, in any case, this is coming along pretty good. I'm going to just take this off in a couple of minutes here and we'll be inside. And I'm glad this cook will be over because it's going to rain very soon. All right, I just cut into the steak here. It's not too bad. It's very tasty, in fact. And here are the poppers here. Uh, I'll just take a little bite of what this popper and I'll let you know what it tastes like here. I'm sure it's very hot. I'm excited. Got this Canucket sausage here, and I'm gonna show you a picture of it, guys. You ought to get it. You can get it. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Tasty. Mmm. Very good. We're inside. It's gonna rain, but we're done. God bless America.